Hey friends, I'm back with another video. And what am I doing now? Well, after my little incident on Oakwind, uh, I decided to, to give up Oakwind, to give up playing on that server, which is a shame because right before the incident, I had made a druid and a monk on there because yes, even on newbie servers where I'm still a newbie, not like at level 19, I still make alts. It's a disease, I, I know. It's like some people hoard junk in their house, some some billionaires hoard all their money, I, I hoard alts. <laughs> I, I know it's probably a character flaw, but so I, I started playing over there with them and, and it was fun and I was just playing in the Quenos, uh zone, you know, killing skeletons and junk. And uh, it was it was relaxing. It was it was maybe even therapeutic. So what did I do? Well, I kind of recreated the characters over here, and of course I couldn't resist because I do have advantages here. Did I give him a little bit of equipment? Yeah, I gave him some equipment. Nothing extravagant, but I did give them some gear. Do they have mercenaries? Yes, but. Right now, I'm keeping the mercenaries in their pockets because I just want to kind of chill and, and, and just go around killing stupid crap. Stuff that probably won't be able to harm me. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's just to chill and relax and talk. So I hope you'll still enjoy this video, even though there might not be any new information. But I did think it would be fun to sort of unload about my experience over there on that server and just play these guys that I had made and uh, and just kind of recreate them over here. I, I posted on my page what, what had happened. Uh, and it's not really a big deal. It's just some douchebag came along while I was camping Evil Eyes uh, in Gorge of King Zorb. And decided that he was going to take the camp. You know? And I didn't enjoy that. I didn't enjoy that at all. And that's not something I would ever do to anybody else. Would it be possible that I accidentally uh, kill somebody's mob one day? Oh, yeah, that's possible. In fact, it's happened. Like, it's happened sort of almost intentional when I was a newbie. Because I thought somebody needed help. <laughs> And as soon as they said stop, I stopped and I realized they didn't need help and I apologized abundantly and I buffed them and then I left, you know, not to interfere with them again. So I think honest mistakes can happen. But I was there. I went up to them because maybe they didn't see me because I was sitting, you know, on the ground and they were up on that that middle thing where the... the named big eye whatever <laughs> chief eye spawns but there's the two on the sides too so he was up on that thing so i'm like okay, maybe they didn't see me i try to give people the benefit of the doubt right but they did they did see me because i got right up in front of them and i said hey you know we've been camping here um and and uh and you're killing killing the eyes man i was like please please stop and they didn't stop uh, so I kept saying, hey, you know, what are you, like a gold farmer or something? Do you not understand English? Please stop. I'm, I'm, I'm camping here. And it was just, they just kept ignoring me. And uh, it was it was really frustrating. And, and I just felt like, okay, this guy just is being, you know, a jerk. It's, I don't know why. I don't know if he thinks it's funny or what. You know, the thing that that bothered me, I think some of the most out of it was the the guy was level 50. So level 50, those eyes are trivial to you. You get no XP, nothing out of it at all. And uh, so they're they're, you know, butchering the eyes, killing them in like a heartbeat. And uh, I had I had no chance at all to kill them and remember that server over there 
is uh, is locked, like it's uh, encounter locked. That's what they call it. So whoever gets aggro first, right, gets to keep it, gets to kill the thing. And I don't understand what was going on. I'm making this video and talking about it, also hoping to maybe shine some light on it. Maybe someone else knows what was going on and could tell me, educate me on stuff because I, I always admit I don't know all the answers. I feel like I know some stuff, but I don't know everything. Uh, so, you know, I, I often ask the audience, hey, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Someone said I should start doing live streams because some of those questions could be better asked, you know, like right then and there during a live stream. But the problem with a live stream is that I really, really am uh, an awkward, shy type of person. I'm not outspoken. It might seem like that because I talk so much during my video, but dude, that's filming a video. I'm talking to a little box sitting on top of my screen. I'm not talking to people directly. Uh, that's, that's actually a thing even in normal like conversations, whether they be old friends that I've known for years or family members. I've, I've always had a hard time looking people right in the eye because I feel like I don't know, you know, what they're thinking when that happens, but I've always felt like that's creepy. And, and everybody else says, no, that's not creepy. That's a sign of respect. It's a sign that you're paying attention. It's a sign that you're listening. Uh, but for me, it's always been like, stop looking at me. Why are you looking at me? There's nothing to fucking look at. Go away. <laughs> you know? And and so there's that. It's It's my own issue. I never said I was mentally healthy. <laughs> Uh, in fact, I, I think I've said a couple of times now that quite the opposite. I'm not mentally healthy. And I wish I was. So, so yeah, don't look at people in the eyes when I talk so much. But there was, there was something else I started going on about talking about. And I screwed up and I lost my train of thought. And that happens with me a lot. I'm completely not the most coherent person. But I was talking about the incident. I know that for sure. So let's go back to that instead of all these stupid little uh, side quests that I keep doing. I got to get a beetle eye for the for that spell, the finger licks or fire lick or whatever the hell, flame lick. Shut up. <laughs> uh, so. So yeah, they were they were killing these these mobs. I know it's just a game. I could just get over it. I could walk away. I could move on. But it's just, you know, irritated me. It really really did. And uh there we go. Got our fire beetle eye already. Awesome. And level 3. We we gained a level. Yay. Oh. I know I have more spells to memorize, I guess. Yes, I bought spells already. I gave them each a, a small amount of money. So, ooh, stick! Stick! This is like a big deal, finding if it's, especially if it's a cracked staff. Oh no, it's just a worn great staff. Um, on that other server, you know, the cracked staffs, they sell for almost a plat. Depending on your charisma. And, and that's like kind of a big deal. It's, it's how I got most of my money is, is chasing down skeletons, wielding big sticks. It's like the big stick, get the big stick. Uh, so, so this went on with this guy killing the mobs for a while. And, uh, you know, there was a couple of respawns because I kept thinking, oh, they'll kill one or two and they'll go away because they'll realize I'm here. Maybe they were just trying to be cute or, or a jerk or whatever. But I didn't think they were going to just completely blatantly steal the camp from me. You know? 
Or, or maybe they were going to try to claim that they were there first, but I had been there for like an hour or more uh, killing, killing them. Uh, I, I, probably about two hours, you know? The camp was mine, and there was nobody there. Uh, I, even, I even helped this other person, this other player, showed up, and I was like, oh, no, I hope they don't try to take my stuff, my, my camp, because they were also higher level than me, but only about level 25 or 30 or something like that. But they were actually very nice. They said, hey, you know, all we want is uh, optic nerves. Have you seen any? Are there any rotting? And I was like, oh, no, I haven't gotten any. But if I do, I, I'll be happy to let, leave them on the corpse for you. You could loot them, you know, especially if they're no drop. I didn't know if they were no drop or not. Turns out I don't think they were no drop. But I did come across some optic nerves. I right away sent them a, a, a tell. And they went and came and picked them up and said thank you. And interactions like that were actually pretty common on the server. Most interactions were decent, you know. Uh, but this one was just so toxic that it infuriated me. And I'm, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm going to get angry when I get angry. I, I tend to stay angry. It's, it's, it's difficult for me to let shit go. And that's probably a character flaw too. But I'm okay with it. Because I didn't want to be angry. <laughs> I didn't ask them to come and steal the camp. So yeah, they just kept doing it. Finally, I just gave up. I said, screw this. Screw the whole server. I'm done. Because I had a few other negative uh, interactions before that. And one of them was, or a couple of them were, because I grouped. I dared group with other people. Which, stupid, I know. In a game where you're supposed to group with other people. They're so quick on that server. You group... And you've got a full group. You're doing good. You got a groove. And uh, nobody's dying. So just because nobody's dying, uh, and everything's, you know, dark blue, at least it was to me, dark blue or white or, or even yellow at times. So, so we're all getting good XP. But there's always that one person who's a little higher level than everybody else in the group. Uh... I wonder if I could take a level 6 skeleton at level 3. Well, I've got gear, so let's try it. Let's try it just for the heck of it. Oh, I hate when they spin me right round. Like a record baby, right round, right round. It's so bad. Um, because it makes me do that stupid song lyric thing that I do. Come on, are you gonna... Okay, you are gonna attack. Good, good. I had to uh, switch screens to make them attack also. I keep losing track of my thought. I need to stop. I need to stop jumping around stuff. Or maybe just not fight until I finish a thought. Because that happens. That happens way too much. And I can only imagine that it's probably annoying to some viewers, you know? And maybe that's why I'll, I'll end up with like 526 subscribers a day later. 525 subscribers. I'm like, oh, somebody unsubscribed. I must have done something or said something. Or they were watching a video where I kept losing my train of thought. And it was frustrating for the viewer. And so they gave up on me like I gave up on Oakland. <laughs> I will always try to improve. I, I'm more than happy to listen to people if they want to... Put notes and comments, um, e even if they're negative, like say, hey, I really dislike it when you do this in your videos. Can you please stop? Because <laughs> you completely derail whatever story you're telling, and sometimes you don't even finish that story because you completely forgot what you were saying. Either start taking notes or just stick to your topic. And see, like, I just went off topic again on that topic. Uh, so, it, yeah, it kept going. The, uh, the uh, killing of the mobs kept going and going and going, and it didn't stop. And I begged them to stop, and I, I even started giving, you know, kind of mocking them, like, oh, what are you, like a gold farmer? You don't know English? Come on, man. <laughs> um... Because I was mad. 
<laughs> I was angry. Uh, and again, I know it's just a game, but you could still be courteous in just a game. You know, uh, you know, you know that thing you're breathing. Oh, it's just air. It's just air. You know, you, you know, you know, money that you pay your old your bills. Oh, it's just money. Why don't you give it all away? It's just money. Doesn't matter. It doesn't count for anything. Everything could be said that it's just whatever it is. If it's important to you, it's important to you. This game means something to me. So I get irritated when things get stupid. And again, that's why I don't group often. And to be honest, I actually thought when I was making these characters, I was like, you know what it would be kind of cool? Because a couple of people said I should do live streams, right? What if I started these characters off as live stream characters? Where I said, hey, you know, I'm logging on, going to do live stream. And if anybody wants to make a noob and come and play in the Kratos newbie area, do it. You know, come join us and kill yard trash. And then we'll go out and maybe kill some actual gnolls in Black Barrow or something after like a level or two. That was what I was thinking of doing. But then the, th the same thing that happens, that always happens, I start thinking about it and I'm like, a bunch of anxiety builds up and I'm like, you know, I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't think I can do it. So I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that right now. I could still in the future, you know, if these characters don't get way up in levels, I could be like, or I could just make up a new one. And again, just say, hey, make up a new character. Or even if I grab one of my level 40s or 50s, be like, hey, if you got a character this level, come join. You know? And I'm sure there's, there's people out there that have a couple of alts here and there uh, that they could play. Or they can even get themselves shrouded if they want to, to play the level of whatever I'm playing, you know? But I'm also... Uh, thinking too much about it, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that anybody would want to uh, team with me in the first place. I really don't know if I'm an enjoyable person to game with. Because I, I, can, I can get annoyed. I can get pissed off. I'm human. And it sucks. Being human can suck. Gonna make sure I, I still have the... Uh, uh, J Boots active. I didn't go and quest J Boots for these guys. I just went and found some fabled J Boots because, you know, they're tradable here on Front of I. Because I went and got a few fabled J Boots during the last fabled event. So, yeah, these guys got fabled J Boots. <laughs> because most of my characters, once they reach like 51, they get AA run speed, which is almost as good. So. That's usually when I take the Fable J Boots and give it to a newbie character of mine. So we are in Quenos Hills now. I saw this guy walking and for a second I thought, Oh my god, is it actually a player character? No. It's some dwarf, some buzzlin. So some just some NPC. So that that's okay, I guess. Who is this? Volus Jenkins? I don't remember him. Who the hell is this? Well, hailing him doesn't seem to do much. I hailed him multiple times. So, oh well. Gotta try to find stuff I can kill. Ooh, large field rat. There's an even con for me. Level 3 also. Yeah, I can only uh, deal with killing stuff that doesn't really give me much XP for so long before I just lose interest. And if you're wondering, what the hell are you doing? You're playing a monk and you're looting everything? He... I cheated. Yes, I have 100% weight reduction bags. 
Like every slot has a hundred percent weight reduction bag, so yeah, see, so everything's going in these bags, so it doesn't matter my my weight's not really gonna change. It's uh my current weight is at thirteen guys. Because I'm wearing uh, a, a Woos fighting, uh, a whole set of Woos fighting, and some jewelry. And you're probably like, uh, why are you wearing Woos fighting uh, monk gear when the uh, even crude defiant would probably be better and have more stats? Well, it wouldn't have better armor class. Uh, at least not at this level, because remember the when you're like level one, all the stats, including I think armor class, on defiant, even crude defiant, is like ones. So my armor class is actually better wearing woos. Not to mention, I just like the look of it. Like, look at the 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 cool. You know, it's like I'm wearing a sports bra and my pants has like cool holes in it and what looks like safety pins along the side i don't know i just like that look <laughs> and if you just wear leather it, it ends up looking more like what the uh druid there is wearing so yeah i i like stuff to look just a, a cooler way or just different sometimes i know it's dumb <laughs> it's probably dumb and it's lame but it's, it's just my preference, man. Ooh, we got another level. Yes, we got another level. That's awesome. Level four now. See, I kind of hate the uh, XP bonus a little bit because I don't want to level up so quick. I want to enjoy these, these newbie moments with these characters. <laughs> Let them stay young for a little bit longer, man. I'm not in a, a big rush. And you could say, well, if you're not in a big rush, why did you right away come over here to fight higher level stuff? It's like, don't question me. Uh, because I chose to. I mean, I want to see some progress. And look, I'm already getting some, uh, some crude defiant dropping. So back to the main story. Uh, with the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I, so I, I ended up leaving. I just, I gave him the camp. I, I was like, screw it. And, uh, you know, I, I just felt like they, they were doing it on purpose. And I think to make matters actually worse is that once I was gone, once I left... They finally try to send in an IM and say, Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were there. And I just about lost my tiny little mind. Because I'm like, Yeah, you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to make it so I don't report them or whatever. Or try to put them on blast or something. Uh, <laughs> to like ruin their reputation maybe with their guild or something. And say, Yeah, oh... Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm leaving now. It's like, I already left. It's going to be a chore to, like, have to run all the way back there from where I was bound. They knew I freaking left. They knew I gated. They were able to see in the local chat, you know, so-and-so gates. And so they waited until that to send that message. They were just, they were just screwing with me the whole time, screwing with me. And it just, it just makes me so mad. Because it's one thing to like mess with somebody. It's another thing just to assume that they're completely stupid. Like, oh, I'm just going to say, oh, okay. It was just a misunderstanding then. That's fine. I'll run all the way back there now. Only to have someone else, I'm sure, that would take the camp by then. By the time I'd get back. And probably be them playing an alt or something. And claiming, oh, yeah, no, nobody was here, so I took it. It's mine now. And, of course, I wouldn't be the douchebag and say, no, it's mine. I wouldn't fight them over it. If they were there before I got back, it would be theirs, right? So I, I feel like you could play a game 
and still have some morals, still have some ethics and some courtesy and some kindness. Just because it's a game, it doesn't mean you have to be a cunt. It's just saying. So, so yeah, I just don't like people assuming that you're dumb, or assuming, you know, anything like that. I think it's just disingenuous, it's rotten. Yeah, I, it's just something I would never do. And, and there, I know, it's a character flaw. Again, I have many. But I assume that other people are going to do things like I would do, or, or what I would do. And that's not the case. And I need to stop expecting people to be like myself. It's, it's really stupid. It may even be selfish. If I ever do it, and, you know, you guys are watching, and they're like, there he goes again, expecting people to be like him. What a douche. Fine, call me out on it, whatever you want. <laughs> you know, because I... <laughs> I know, I expect too much. I really do. I expect too much from people. Again, character flaw. But I still don't think it's as bad as a character flaw as running in and stealing someone's camp. <laughs> you know? And where'd my damn druid go? There they are. Does, uh... Does that crazy ranger hang out in Quenos Hills, like, still, like, on Throne of Eye? Like... They like they do on the newbie servers. Cause I just thought of that. I'm like, I hope they don't show up and like kill me for <laughs> fighting stuff. Oh, there's a null. There's a null attacking the druid. Why did I make a druid? I made a druid because I I want teleports, and I have I I already have like a druid somewhere. But I wanted them on a specific account to make sure that whatever group I have, I'll have a druid for if I need to teleport somewhere. I also just realized something about the druid is I, I they didn't get buffed, which is fine because, you know, the monk is doing the tanking and stuff. Let's memorize some more of these spells. I think I got up to level 10 spells in these bags. I didn't even give them that many bags like I did the monk. I mostly concentrated on the monk because it's the monk that has to really worry about the weight problem, you know? Uh, the druid, not so much. Oh yeah, I can't fight those yet. I figured I would ask the audience, what would you guys do in that situation? Uh, if somebody comes along, steals your camp, would you do what I did? Would you just be mad and, and leave? Uh, would you continuously, you know, try to get the first hit? Because like I said, you know, Oakwind has that, that encounter lock. But for every time, every time they managed to get the encounter, they, I would hit spam, pet attack, pet attack. I'd be right near it. I couldn't be near it too much because... Those things will nuke you right away or try to charm you. Uh, and, uh, and that could be a problem. So I had to keep some distance because I wasn't level 50 like he was. Which again, like, dude, if you're level 50, if the stuff is trivial to you and someone is in that zone fighting and getting XP... Please leave. Leave the zone. <laughs> Let the newbie get some XP. I would never, ever, ever imagine of taking my highest level guy into a zone where someone else was getting XP. If, if they were, I would be like, well, are, you know, are you camping this room? Is it okay if I take this room? Is that okay with you? You know, maybe throw some buffs at him. Be like, hey, if you get in a bind, you need some help. Run the train to me. I'll take care of it. You know, I would I would do that. Uh, I wouldn't I for sure would not want to steal the camp. 
uh, sometimes I've gone in and saw someone there, you know, and uh, said like, oh, okay, so you're camping this? And, and they said, yeah, but I'm about to leave, so just wait a sec and you can have it. And then I'm like, oh, really? Okay, thank you. And then I'll be like, okay, I guess I could take the camp. But I'm never going to try to chase someone away from a camp that's already theirs. And again, if it was a mistake, uh, mistakes can happen. But when someone's there begging you to stop <laughs> for, for 15 minutes and several uh, monsters have spawned, because, you know, those things, they got like a 5-10 minute respawn. I th I'd say at least a 10 minute respawn. And I, and I was there trying to plead with the person for at least three spawn cycles before I finally gave up. Because I just started feeling stupid. Like, they're never going to give up. They're never going to, like, acknowledge that they're doing anything wrong. They're, they're, they're just creeps. <laughs> so I finally... Oops, I hit the mic. Uh, the mic boom. So I'm like, I finally just said, like, yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm definitely not going to sit here and argue with someone who pretends I don't exist. Like, they never, they never once answered or replied to me. Uh, even someone that doesn't quite know English knows enough to say, like, maybe no English <laughs> something, you know? But if you don't know English... You might still know some of the common courtesy rules of the game, right? Yeah, I'm leveling up way too fast. I don't have any kind of XP bonus or nothing. Uh, it just says gaining party XP, so no bonuses. But for some reason, I'm already level 5. If this was Oakwind, I'd be level 2 or 3 still, you know? Uh, so it's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit frustrating. One thing you could say about uh, a slower progression of XP, too, is that uh, y your, your spell skills will keep up with you. I mean, the druid here is already level 5 and they've barely had a chance to cast anything. So, uh, again... <laughs> There's good and bad with every server, uh, but 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 deep down, I really do love Fronavai. It's the best server, the best people, the best players. You know, I don't know if I've ever actually had a toxic encounter on Fronavai. Uh, at least I don't remember having any. For the amount of time that I've spent on front of buy, I you know I've been made this my main server for a couple of years now. Uh, I originally I was on uh, Zev, if you remember the Zev server, uh, and then now it's I don't remember it's been it's been merged with several servers, so it's not like Zev doesn't even show up in the names anymore. Uh, it shows up as something else. Uh, I, I just can't remember what it is. But it's one of those bottom servers. I don't know why I chose that server. <laughs> Maybe I would have had a better experience way back then had I chose one of the uh, upper servers. Because it just seems like Zev was pretty quick to have a decline in the amount of players on that server. And it was pretty quick to get merged with other servers. I still have my characters on there. And I still log in once in a while to just look at them. <laughs> I'll look at my characters. Oh, there they are. You know. Of course, there's a Fezzlewig over there. There's always a Fezzlewig. That was uh, one of the first characters I made. Was that no mage named Fez? This is a document thing. Yeah, I think that's like a quest thing. I don't think I'm gonna get any any money from that. But I, I think that's enough of me complaining about that server. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry for complaining about it. It, you know, I'm embarrassed more than anything that I let it get to me. Kind of embarrassed that I'm even still talking about it. If if you try to be decent, then usually decent things happen to you. Uh, I noticed that when I was younger, yeah, I was more selfish. I, you know, didn't always consider the other person. And uh, I would, you know, I would do stupid things. I would hurt people's feelings and stuff like that. I didn't like it. I didn't like how it made me feel. You know, I felt like, wow, it, it sucks. <laughs> Guilt sucks. It sucks to feel like crap because you hurt someone's feelings. Let's not do that anymore. So, yeah, I kind of, you know, started trying, started trying to be better, be a better person uh, and, and better to other people just because I didn't like feeling like a dick. Uh, I'm level five now. Woo. So here's one more thing I'd like to talk about. Uh, I'm at 500 subs, right? And I don't know if you noticed, but recently, recently YouTube has lowered the bar, so to speak. You can be partially monetized at 500. So you can be partner at 500. Now, you don't get full monetization. You don't get ad revenue, for example. But what you do get is you can start doing like super chat or super thanks and things like that. Which that could be kind of cool. You know, maybe someone who really likes my videos can give me a super thanks. I don't really know how it works, guys. I should probably look into all that. I'm sure that there might be a video out there explaining how it all works. And uh, I need to apply. You actually have to apply to be uh, a partner. And I'm guessing my channel would qualify. I don't even know. Should I, should I apply? I know I should. I need to apply for the partner program thing. And so I can get some super chats and stuff. Because there might be people out there that just don't care to mess with Patreon, but they might still want to give me like a super thanks or some crap. Oh my god! Black Barrow is level 73 now! Did you just see that? <laughs> I am so glad this isn't a server where we need to pass through Black Barrow in order to uh, get to Everfrost. No, we got POK books. So that event is going on, I guess, where, holy crap, I'm so glad I, I, I considered that null. I was like, wait a second, did that null just con red to me? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess if I want to play in Blackboro, I can dust off Fezzlewick and bring him over here. Get the whole team together. That'd be some good XP for him, and I think they drop some stuff, don't they? Like... Like, really high-level versions of whatever the hell they used to drop. Although, Black Burrow was never, never had the greatest loot, did they? Oh, I wonder if it's going on in Lower Guck, too. It might be. If it's going on in Lower Guck, those drop some cool stuff. Hey, look, I could fight a Wisp now. It's yellow to me. I might have to do that. So, I guess that's about it. Uh, I gotta try to apply for a partnership with YouTube because I am at 500. Like I said, they lowered the bar. I still need to get a thousand for ad revenue though. So that's still the goal is to reach a thousand. I do want to thank my viewers who helped me get up to 500. You guys are awesome. Thank you so very much. And uh, I want to say I'm sorry for ranting so much about something so stupid like I said I'm human and I got angry <laughs> and I just wanted to talk about it because talking about it makes me feel better um, also you know I'm always curious if other people have had similar issues a couple of people have already said 
that similar things happened to them. And so I'm, and, and to them, I want to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you, man. I'm sorry that you had a similar crappy experience. It sucks when you love a game so much, but someone comes along and tries to poop on your parade and, and ruin it for other people, you know? Because I, I feel like a lot of my viewers are good people. They're like, they're awesome people. And, and that it's, it, you know, something they would never do themselves would be to try to crap on someone's day uh, or, or steal someone's camp. And to anybody who has done it, I like to say that that is a viewer. I'd like to say, hey, maybe don't, <laughs> you know, if, if you could like not take other people's camps, that would be really cool. Because uh, I, 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 I think it's shitty. I really do. If you ever see me in a zone and you're camping, <laughs> say, hey, Fez, <laughs> I'm camping here. I'd be like, okay, thanks. Have a nice day. Do you need any buffs before I go? Uh, or if I'm in a rush, I might not offer buffs right away. But sometimes I, you know, I'd like to. I try. I try to offer buffs sometimes. Uh, and that's about it, I guess. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the Patreon. That'd be great. Uh, it does help me. It does help the channel. Uh, and there's a Twitter. There's a discord i'd love to see the discord channel grow but mostly i'm here to see the the youtube channel grow so if it keeps growing i'm a happy camper yeah this has been an episode with uh braxy and juniper <laughs> I, I pick weird names uh thanks for watching have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow <laughs>